a light just exploded. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a makeup tutorial inspired by the main character from Fifty Shades of Grey. Now, I would describe her makeup as no makeup makeup yet effortlessly sexy, so that's what I tried to do today. And bonus, it is all drugstore products. So I also have a lot more in store for you guys coming up, so make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss anything, and let's get on to the video. So first things first, my brows are already done just because it takes up a ton of time, but I do have a brow routine, so I'm going to have that linked down below. Now on to the actual tutorial. I always think that having big, juicy, luscious, soft, like kissable lips is something that is so effortlessly sexy that any woman can do. So first you're going to want to take a lip scrub, and I'm just going to put this all throughout my lips. You're then just going to take a tissue and go ahead and rub off or blot off any excess lip scrub that you might have on your lips. And then this is the only non-drugstore lip product, but I'm going to go in with a lip plumper, and this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Plumper. And I'm just going to put this on my lips, and basically what this product does is it swells up and irritates your lips, and it causes them to swell because they're irritated, and that's what makes them plumper. And I've been using this for about a week now, and I can definitely tell a huge difference in my lips. So for foundation, I have been absolutely loving this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Radiant Firming Makeup in the shade. Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't really know this. Oh, buff, buff beige. So I just take a little bit and then dab it all over my face. Now I'm going to go in with a beauty blender that I recently damped, and I'm just going to buff this into my skin. I really don't want to have a heavy face makeup look. I want it to be as light as possible. So that's what we're going for today. I'm now going to move on to concealer, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 15. I have been absolutely loving this concealer lately. So all that I do is three little dots under my eyes, and that's all that I need to conceal my dark circles. I'm sick, so I've been blowing my nose a ton, so my nose is really red. I've been breaking out a little bit on my forehead, down my chin, and on the bridge of my nose just to make it a little bit slender and then any other spots that I want to conceal. I really want to keep my makeup as minimal on the face as possible. So I'm really not going heavy with the contour and the highlight. That is a completely different look. This is supposed to be effortless and like a no makeup. And I'm blending my concealer in with my hands because it gives a super, super natural finish to the concealer. Now I'm going to be sure to set everything. So this is just a translucent powder from Rimmel. And I'm taking a small brush first to set my under eyes. And then I want to keep the rest of my face mattified, so I'm just going to take a big brush and powder down the rest of my face. Now I know a lot of you guys really do want a contour and highlight video, so make sure you guys are subscribed because I am going to do one of those very soon so you don't want to miss it. But in the meantime, what I'm going to be doing is just a very natural glow to the skin. So this is the NYC Smooth Skin bronzing face powder. I'm going to take this with a big fluffy brush and we're just going to lightly apply this on places that the sun would naturally hit. So that includes the temples of your face. We're also going to bring it down onto the cheeks and around the cheekbone area as if we were contouring just with a really big fluffy brush and a little bit on the jaw just to chisel that out a bit. But you can see that it really gives a nice glow between um, your face and that's what we want. So then we're just going to repeat it on the other side. I'm going to put a little tiny bit down the sides of my nose, not too much. What is that? I forgot, since I'm not using an eye primer, I'm going to put concealer on my eyelids and this will act as an eye primer and it will also conceal the veins because I don't have like a drugstore one that's equivalent to Paint Chili Paint Pot by MAC. So I'm just going to take this and then set it with powder and it's going to do the exact same thing, life hack. And then again, setting that with a translucent powder. I sound like a man. I'm so sorry. I'm going to use the same brush that we use for bronzer for my blush. And the blush that I'm using is this NYX blush. And it's in the shade Pink Fetish. And it's really, really pretty. It's like the It, it looks to me like the exact same one that she uses in the movie. And then I'm going to start by swirling it back on my temples and then I'm just going to gradually start to bring it down to my apples and this has to be a very gradual fade that's how we're going to get the desired look 
that we want. Eyes are super, super simple. We're gonna go in with a fluffy blending brush. This is by MAC. And we're gonna take the same bronzer that we used on our face and take a little bit of that and just run that in the crease. And this is just gonna give our eyes natural definition and like a sunken in look. And since we're using a bronzer, it's going to look super natural as opposed to using like an eyeshadow because this is the same thing that we used on our face, so it's all going to coordinate. I'm going to take a little tiny bit and just run it along my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take this Maybelline palette and I don't know what this is called. I want to say like Velvet Crush or something. But you can take any color that you want. I'm just taking this base one right here because it's kind of like a pinky base. And I'm going to apply this on the center of my lid and on the inner corner of my eye to brighten up my eyes, make them bigger and make them more sexy. I'm not going to do any intense eyeliner for this look, but we are going to define the eyes with a bit of liner. So the liner that I'm using is this CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus, and this is in the shade Black Onyx, Oinx, Onyx I think it is. And this also has a smudger brush, so if you want to make a line on your upper lash line and smudge it out, you could definitely do that too. That'd be more of like a sultry, sexy kind of look where you can definitely see the eyeliner. But with this, what we're going to do is tight line our eyes, and that's going to make it so that... It just looks like your lashes are fuller without having any eyeliner on and it just gives the eye definition, dimension, and it makes them look wider. Or should I say bigger? Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and go in with some mascara and this is Maybelline The Falsies Waterproof because I don't use mascara unless it's waterproof. So before I go on to adding lower lash mascara, I'm actually going to take false eyelashes and these are the Ardell 108s and what I'm going to do is actually cut them down so that they're only the outer half of the lash and then I'm going to lay that down on the outer corner um, and that's just going to add a bigger eye effect and it's going to open up my eye and just look better and sexier. So now that the lashes are on, I'm going to go back in with some mascara and touch up the inner corners to make them a little bit more bold and then add some mascara onto my lower lashes and then we're ready to move on to the lips. And I'm going to line my lips with a bright magenta lip liner. Now, have faith in me. It's all going to work out in the end, I promise. I'm going to line my lips and fill them in with this. And then after it's all filled in, I'm going to take a tissue and blot it off completely. So it's more like a stain, but I used a lip liner as opposed to a stain because I can remove this easier than a stain would. Now, because I want my lips to look really, really big and plump, what I'm going to do is take my finger and then kind of go along the edges of my mouth and and pull the excess lip liner up a little bit and it's just going to make my lips look like they're just so big that they're just so swollen and they're just popping out of my face basically. And then to finish it off I'm going to take a little bit of this L'Oreal Le Gloss in the shade Raspberry Splash and apply this all over my lips very lightly and then again blending that with my finger and kind of spreading it along the outer edges of my lips. you all enjoyed it. I did want to say really quickly that I know there's a lot of controversy with this movie saying that it's like domestic abuse and I just want to say that in no way shape or form do I support domestic abuse or um, even what Christian Grey was doing. Um, I personally have yet to see the movie but I do know the story of it and I have a lot of friends that went and they said that they were honestly kind of disgusted by it but I still wanted to show the makeup tutorial because I think her makeup is really really beautiful in the movie and I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update about it. Now with that being said be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss any more videos from me because like I said I have a lot coming up soon. I also made a snapchat it is macup101 if you guys want to go follow me I highly recommend it. I also have all my other social media links down below if you guys want to check that out as well. If you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys all in my next one. Bye!